friends, today we are going to draw an ice cube. Yeah, we are going to draw a funny ice cube. We hope you are going to follow along. You ready to start? Yeah! We are using our markers to draw with and we also have marker paper to draw on. And what shape is an ice cube? A square. Yeah, and what is a 3D square? A cube. A cube. And we are going to draw a cube so that our ice cube, an ice cube? It is in the word. Nice cube. Oh. <laughs> so our ice cube looks 3D. So let's first start by drawing a square and we are going to draw it wiggly, not perfectly straight. So let's draw this side and I am going to draw, not too wiggly, but we are going to try to draw little waves in the line. Yes. There you go. Awesome. And then we are going to turn it into the letter L and we are going to draw a wavy line down here too. Nice. I like how wiggly that line is. Okay, now let's come up and we're going to draw it going up the same distance. Yes. Oh, that's a little taller. That's okay. The other side. Oh, I like how you're tall. You're going to have a tall ice cube. <laughs> then let's draw the top of our ice cube. We're going to connect them together. Okay, now we've got our square, but let's make it 3D so that it looks like a cube. We are going to draw diagonal lines and we are going to draw them, we will draw the first one here. Now this part is a little tricky. We are going to try to draw this same length. Oh yes, it is even wider. We are going to try to draw this same exact line over here. And we try to draw it in the same direction and the same length. So oh yeah, <laughs> we will help you. We are going to draw uh, maybe to there. Yes. You did it. Okay. And then we are going to draw that same line down here and we are going to draw it maybe to there. And then I am going to do that also. Now we are ready to connect the back of our ice cube. So we are going to try to draw a, just a simple wavy line and connect. Oh, this one's a little bit longer so I extended it. There you go. Oh, yes. And then we are going to draw a wavy line down too. We did it. We finished our ice cube. Well, let's color it and then we are going to make it funny by adding a funny face. We are just using one color. Uh, it is our 66 light blue if you are using our same Art for Kids Hub markers. But you don't have to. You could use whatever you have at home or in the classroom like color pencils or even crayons. Now this part will speed up because we are just going to color the whole thing solid blue. Although ice cubes are really blue, they are more clear. Yeah. But that is okay. We, we want to color our ice cube. We do not want to leave it just like this. Yeah. All right. Let us speed things up. Next we have a slightly darker blue. It is very slight. And we are going to layer on top of the ice cube. But we are going to do a little secret to make our ice cube look like it is transparent. Do you know what that means? It is a big word. No. It means you can see through it. Yes, transparent means you can see through it. So we're going to start here. Oh, let's start here in this corner. Remember this big long line we made? Let's make another one right to there. There's the imaginary or the guide point. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the same line and see how we're layering it on top. You can even go over it again, make it a little darker. There you go. And then we're going to draw, I'm going to make mine a little longer. Then we're going to draw a wiggly line that comes down, not too wiggly. We're going to come down and connect to that diagonal line. Yes. And then you can go over it maybe one or two times. There you go. Make it a little darker. And then we're going to connect from this corner over to this corner right here. Yeah, right there. And connect to there. Look at that. Now it looks like our ice cube is transparent or you can see through it. Isn't that cool? It's yeah. a little secret. And now we can see the other side of our cube. It looks really 3D. Oh, I like that you're making it even darker so you can see it. Now what's our ice cube missing? A funny face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's switch to our black marker and we're going to add our funny face. You can change your funny face. It doesn't have to look like ours. I'm going to draw a little W in the middle. <laughs> oh, I like yours. And then we're going to draw an I 
a circle on the left and also a circle on the right. Then let's draw a small circle in the top left of each eye for the highlight. And we're going to color in that big circle, but leave the little circle white. Now we're switching to our white color pencil. It's Prismacolor brand, and I really like this brand because you can layer it on top of the marker. And I'm also adding a small little highlight next to it too. So we can color on top of the blue, it makes it look white. And then also a small highlight. Oh, also we can add a highlight on this top edge of our ice cube. Let's add one more thing to our ice cube to make it even funnier. I'm gonna add a hand or an arm coming up. Oh, I like yours going down. Then you can add a little circle and color it in. And then you can add a thumb and then, and then three fingers. Then let's also add an arm over here. I'm gonna draw it coming down and then I'm gonna add a circle, thumb and three fingers. This one I'm going up. Oh, that one's going up. I like that you switched it. Our art friends can change their hands too. <laughs> and then one last thing, let's add two legs and feet. I'm gonna draw a little oval sticking out to the left. And we did it. We finished drawing and coloring our funny ice cube. I especially love yours. Thank you, I like yours too. Oh, thanks. And I really love that we drew a square 3D, which is called- A cube. A cube, yeah. And we also made it look transparent. What does transparent mean again? You can see through it. Yeah, it means you can see through it to the other side. So you can see the corners and the edges on the back of our ice cube. And I also really like that our two drawings don't look exactly the same. They both turned out awesome. And that's because the most important thing is to have fun and practice. Yes, to have fun and practice. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hey, parents and teachers, it's Rob from Art for Kids Hub. We've put together our very first book filled with drawing lessons for you and your family. From cute pets to mythical creatures, it's got everything to spark your creativity. And the coolest part, you can pre-order today. I also want to give a huge shout out to our amazing publisher, DK Books. Thank you, DK Books, for making this dream a reality. We can't wait to see the amazing art you'll create with the help of our book. So click the link in the description below and pre-order your copy today. Your support means the world to us. Remember, the most important thing is to have fun and practice.